Hey everyone, Game Dev with Drew, and did you know that 60% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel? Make sure to subscribe so you can catch up on the content. Now let's get into the episode. Today we're going to be working on bullets and projectiles, but I'm just going to call them bullets for today. In order to do that, we're going to be creating a new scene. Our new scene is going to reference an other node and call it an Area 2D. An Area 2D is just something that detects physics and like audio detection. It's very simple, so we'll get right into it. Next with the Area 2D, we are going to want to add a child node, but we're just going to add on a sprite. We're going to add on this sprite because it's the easiest way to do, and we're going to put the transform 0, 0. And we are going to make this thing look like a bullet. So let's set it to 0.2. And let's set this to 1. And we'll set this to 0.2. Next, we want it to actually look like a bullet. So we'll give it visibility, modulate, and make it completely black. And look at that. That looks like a bullet. But how, are, how is our bullet supposed to touch things? And that's why we have to add a collision to D. Uh, a uh, uh, collision shape 2D. And then we define the rectangular shape. And we'll just define it to look like around the bullet size. Now, how do we shoot the bullet? Well, let's make a new script called bullet. We'll create a new path, a new folder called scripts. And we'll put bullet.gd in there. So create and delete all of this. Don't worry about that. We don't need it right now. Now, since we're extending the area 2D, you, we can do anything that we do with like a kinematic body. So first, we're going to have to give it a speed. So let's var speed equals, let's give it a thousand. But if you want this speed to be different for every single bullet because this is just one bullet we can use this bullet for anything if you want to change the uh the variable without going back into the code we can type export var speed so when we save that so when we save it as when we save the scene as bullet scene we can go back into our area to d and change the speed Perfect. Now that we're back in there, we can save it and go back into the script. Now let's give it a function. Funk underscore physics underscore process, which is what we did for the kinematic body. So every single uh, frame, there is a physics process going. And literally all we're doing is changing the position dot x to plus or equal the speed times delta. Doesn't this look very familiar? It should, because it's just the movement. So if we throw in our bullet into our main scene, we will see the bullet fly past us. See? And now we can't catch up to it. But how do we make our character shoot the bullet? Well, that's a very good question, and I'll answer that right now. First, let's make a sh let's make a shoot button button. Project settings, input map, action, shoot, and then I will do. Let's just do the R key, because you know what R for reload, R for shoot today. So we're going to go into our player and call something called a preload. What we will be doing is we will calling a preload for our bullet. So we're going to name it bar underscore uh, var space. And I'm going to do underscore bullet because that's how I let myself know that it's a preload. So bullet equals preload. And then res scenes bullet dot scene. So with the preload, it just m makes it so that we can call within the, the functions of bullet. I'll explain this as we create the shoot button. Now let's make the shoot button. So we'll add in a little little tooltip for ourselves, hashtag shoot. And if 
input dot action is action pressed shoot we will first make a new bullet so we're going to make var bullet equals underscore bullet dot instance so what you're doing is making a new variable of a underscore bullet dot instance where an instance is just a new variable uh, is just a new clone of the bullet that we initially have and then what you have to do is just bullet dot position equals position and it's just going to call the position of our character bullet position so after that we set we set the instance and we set the position but now we actually have to add the bullet to our scene so we're gonna hit press get underscore tree which just gets our nodes our main scene dot current scene so we're calling our current scene within the tree and then we're gonna do add underscore child and we're just gonna type in bullet and once we do that, we can go into our game and start shooting out a beam of black. But when we look left, it seems that we can't shoot left. That's because we always have a positive velocity. And in order to do a negative velocity, we just have to go into the way that our character is facing. So remember, we are flipping our sprite whenever we turn left and we're flipping it again whenever we turn right so if you think about it you can just do if uh, dollar sign oryx you know what? I have a better I have a good idea so we'll make a we'll make a variable we're gonna make an on ready variable on ready var sprite equals and that's all we have to do for that quickly. So now we can just do if sprite dot flip underscore h equals equals true, then we will make our bullet have a positive velocity because our flip is normally looking um our flip is because our flip is no our flip for our sprite is typically on for right and off for left so if it's on for right then we make it so if it's on for right then we're going to shoot it positive so we're gonna do bullet dot speed times equals one so that's just gonna travel left now let's just copy this Ooh, let's just now let's just copy this control V this and false and then negative one and now we should be able to shoot according to our direction which is true do we really want the beam to be shooting out of the front of our character? Nah. So we're going to add positions. Uh, so when we go into our player, we are going to prep. We're going to right click, add a new node, make position, uh, make it a position 2D. And we are going to put the position 2D right here. We're going to put it. First, let's make this guy flipped, and let's add the position 2D right at his like fingertip. So let's get that transform. So it's going to be 12.333 and 1Y, which is fine. We can just then do, since we have this, we can just go into our script and call where we're going to shoot our position so first we need to make the computer the first we have to make our sprite reference the position so we're going to do on ready var position bullet 
equals dollar sign position 2D. Now we're going to do bullet dot position and bullet, um, sorry, position bullet dot position. And now we can just do this. Nope, not that. <laughs> now we can just do uh, position bullet dot position equals vector two. Remember, there's there are two um, parts to it, so twelve point three and one. Now let's put it. Probably it's probably going to be at negative twelve point three, but just to check. Yep, that's a that's a good spot. So negative twelve point three. And then copy this, paste this, negative. So now when we run it, there should be an error. We are shooting all the way up there. And why are we shooting all the way up there? Well, the reason we're shooting up there is because we're gathering the local position of the position 2D, which is at 12.331, which is all the way up here. In order to get the, the character's position 2D, all we really have to do is bullet global underscore position equals bu position bullet global. It's a really quick add, and it's not that difficult to remember. See, now we can shoot from wherever we want. Now we're shooting at the tip of our character, but since it looks a little weird, let's make our bullet... Uh, move this way perfect now we are shooting out of our hands and that's really all you need to know about bullets and directional velocity about for bullets as well next episode we're going to be putting a timer in between these bullets so it doesn't look just like a beam and then the following episode on friday we will be making an enemy Thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Bye, everyone.